I actually ended up heading out to the gym as part of my New Year's resolution. <laughs> Had a big freak out, was like, where are they? Why are they not in the case? It set me off to a bit of a stressy start. This is like my favorite spread in my journal so far. I am out to meet a friend for coffee this morning. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is my first vlog in London in the new year and I figured I'd just pick up my camera and let you guys know where I'm at. I did plan on vlogging as soon as I got up this morning but I actually ended up heading out to the gym as part of my new year's resolution. I might talk about that a little bit later in the video because I am in a rush at the minute but um yeah I got up went to the gym at 8 a.m. I wanted to go and it was a bit quieter so I had more confidence to use the machines and there weren't loads of people around. Yeah I was there for an hour and a half and then came back showered I've gotten ready because I'm meeting a friend for coffee at 10.30 so I need to leave the house in like five minutes but I did want to give a brief intro into the vlog just to let you know where I'm at. Yes, gym, coffee, very chill weekend this weekend, seeing a couple of friends, in really good spirits, the weather is good, it's absolutely freezing. I nearly slipped walking to the gym this morning because it was just so icy, so cold but the sun is starting to brighten up a bit now as the day um awakens <laughs> i don't know what i'm trying to say yeah i wish i had filmed a little bit in the gym but as i said still building confidence there were other people there but yeah i did a bit of weights training arms back i did some leg stuff leg press squat rack not that i'm a big gym lad or anything or know about the gym but i'm just trying to build my confidence in that space and yeah really get on board with this fitness journey I want to be on more for my mental health than my physical health to be honest because it makes me feel so good getting out of the house getting those endorphins flowing and it just it put me in a good mood to start the day as I said I am in a rush I'm meeting a friend for coffee now and it'll be really nice to catch up with her because I haven't seen her since Christmas and then yeah just a grocery shop very chill weekend not super exciting but I did want to vlog my time back in London and get back into the vlogs again so here we are Look at that sunshine, like my room is so bright. It's a lot warmer than it has been in recent days, which is nice. It's got a lovely little glow about it. It's feeling extra cozy. I can't really vlog over here because the sun is shining so much through my window, but look at that, bright sunshine, clear skies, and you wouldn't even be able to tell just how freezing and frosty it is from that. But let me tell you, I've been outside and it is. back in from my coffee catch up with my friend it is still just as bright as when I left even brighter but still just as cold it was so nice catching up with her we haven't seen each other since before Christmas so it was really good just to have a bit of a life update sort of catch each other up on what we've been up to inside of work and outside of work we are work friends but yeah friends outside of work too so I had lots to talk about not just work related and I went for the green juice which was I think spinach kale cucumber apple something like that i fancied something refreshing after the gym i wasn't in the mood for like a hot cup of tea or something i wanted something that would really like you know something fresh and i've just yeah just got back in the house need to sit down and start meal planning for the week so i can go do my grocery shop that's what i'm gonna do now and then yeah take you out on my walk with me i'm taking it very slow so i think i'll take a slow stroll to the shop rather than hopping on the bus and enjoy the weather while it lasts because we're probably in for more icy cold weather this week so gotta take the sun where you can in britain
to that grocery shop was a little bit of a mare. So, I mean, well, to start off, I realised I left my AirPods or like whatever the Samsung equivalent is, earbuds, at the gym. I was about to leave the house and went to go put them in my ears to listen to music on the walk there. Had a big freak out, was like, where are they? Why are they not in the case? Realised that the battery had died when I was in the gym and I took them out on the treadmill and left them on the little ledge on the treadmill where you could put your belongings and your water and things, panicked, ran along the street, got them, thank goodness that somebody had found them and handed them in to lost property, so I got those back, but it kind of set my day off a little bit and set me off to a bit of a stressy start. I then walked back, it was lunchtime at this point, but I haven't done my shop yet, so I didn't have any food in, so I decided to treat myself to a sausage roll. I did get a Greg's gift card for Christmas, so I was gonna go get a vegan sausage roll from Greg's, and they had no vegan sausage rolls but it was fine i walked to the other bakery across the road and had a vegan walnut sausage roll which was super delicious ate that as i walked to get my groceries and then when i got there they didn't have any of the ingredients i was looking for so i was planning on cooking a thai green curry and they didn't have any like mange to or baby corn so i just thought scrap this i'll cook something else so i was kind of winging it on the fly have ended up with ingredients to make a homemade lasagna and I think like quesadillas or something. Yeah, so kind of came back in a bit of a dash. I ended up getting the bus back because as I said, my shopping list went a bit out of the window and I was just picking things up as I went. I hope I've got everything I need. Ooh, the doorbell. Yeah, so picked everything up, hopefully got everything I need. If not, I can always run out to the shops. Ended up spending more money than I planned to because I didn't stick to my shopping list but these things happen it's all right you know just worked with it I'm sure my lasagna my quesadillas will be just as tasty as my Thai green curry would have been and I can always do that next week and now I think I need to relax it's already like two o'clock I think and I'm like I've been running around all morning I don't know why my day's gone so I might journal for a little bit I might make a cup of tea and just watch a bit of Netflix and wind down so this is the front cover of my journal. I wanted this cute little flowery theme or this sort of design style consistent all the way through. I'm not sure how it'll carry through as the year goes on, but for now I really like this title page. I then have this sort of calendar spread. So I've got um, my key year dates here and then key birthdays as well on this page. And then I have my check-ins, so my, my daily check-ins for morning intentions and evening reflections. And I really liked having this kind of question format that I can reflect on and pick a different question to answer every day because it just helps gather my thoughts and get myself in a positive mindset for the day ahead or work out what's worrying me, what my priorities are and things. My New Year's resolutions right at the front of the journal just to keep me accountable, remember what they are with cute little doodles which I enjoyed doing. This is my things to do when spread, so things to do when sad or lonely, angry or frustrated, anxious or upset, in need of movement, bored or restless. I'm not a fan of the design of this spread, I do like the title but I don't like what I've done here but it is what it is. I then have my happiness list which is basically a list of things that tell me I feel happy when. I got this idea from a book I read that I keep telling you guys about by Mo Gaudat called Solve for Happy and he said the idea is you make your happy list and it has to start with like ing words, like doing words. So I feel happy when drinking a good cup of tea, listening to an upbeat playlist on Spotify and it helps you realise that the moments that bring you the greatest joy in life are usually the simple mundane things so if you're feeling down you actually don't need to do anything huge to lift your spirits. Remind yourself of the simple things that make you happy that you can go and do now or things you can see like the everyday joy in if that makes sense. And then I've got a book tracker for the air, which I do quite like this creative spread. I've got a compliments page just to, again, boost my self-esteem, boost my confidence levels, write down things whenever someone says something nice to me. This doesn't have to be about appearance or anything as well. Like the first one I've written down here is a compliment I got at work from someone outside of my work team about how I had a really good level of communication and engagement. So just little reminders that I'm doing a good job at what I do. So I can look back on that if I'm feeling down at any point. I then have a songs of the month spread so I've done this kind of like
playlist style or like album artwork looking spread there and then a restaurants list which I'll gradually fill in of all the restaurants I want to visit and then I can tick them off in this column. This one I'm really looking forward to filling in. This is my memories of the year spread but they're like little Polaroids that I'll do doodles in and then write here like what the event was and what the date was so I can look back at it at the end of the year and see what my top moments were. This one is my recommendations page so it has books places, podcasts, so shows and films, so I can make a list of everything that friends have recommended me and don't forget about it. It's a good way of just keeping track of all the things people recommend to me. And then on to January, I need to do something with this page, either like make it a quotes page or a notes page. And then again, it's that theme, as I said, I do need to colour this in still. As I said, very much a work in progress. This is like my favourite spread in my journal so far, and that's my calendar spread. I really like the the colours, the themes, the little doodles I've done. Yeah, I just think it looks super neat. I've got a section for goals of the month. This is to fill in any key events and then notes and key songs of the month that stand out to me and I'm gradually adding these to a playlist. So when I get to the end of 2023, I can look back at my playlist of the year or year in songs, whatever you want to call it. And then January in moments, again, I'm, I need to fill in this space, I think, with a quote or a note section. And ja yeah, January in moments where I list down all of the key things that happened this month so I can reflect on all of the fun and exciting things that happened. Now, this is my sort of daily tracker where I can write my morning intentions and evening reflections based off that earlier spread that I showed you. And then I have the calendar in the corner and this little tracker for things like reading, exercise days, screen time, steps, when I've eaten out and things just so I can keep a track of that. And that is all I've got so far really. I need to keep remembering to fill out these spreads so I have something to fill in ahead of time otherwise I'll not do it because I, I as you see like that's kind of where it ends. But that's what I've got so far. I hope you found this interesting or it's inspired you if you'd like to start journaling as well. Good morning everybody, I'm in such good spirits. It is a beautifully sunny day today. I was gonna say wonderful, so if my mouth looked like it made a weird movement, as if it was about to say wonderful and said beautiful, that is why. Anyway, overthinking it. It's very sunny, it looks very, very cold and icy though. Um, oh my goodness, there's a massive fly outside my window. Sorry, easily distracted. It is nearly 10 a.m. I am out to meet a friend for coffee this morning and I've decided to do an hour and a half walk to get there rather than getting the bus or the tube because I figured with the weather being nice, I wanted to get out, get some fresh air and fill my Saturday morning with something that's slow and calm and refreshing. I've had a very slow, easy morning. Woke up, listened to some slow tunes in bed like I'm really loving the um, mood based playlists on Spotify like Lost in the Woods or Duvet Day and yeah they're really good vibes they're, they're keeping me going. Changed my bed sheets, put a load of washing in so staying on top of my chores and then just did my makeup so ready to head out in a second 
and grab coffee in Angel, which is a really, really lovely place in North London and I really like it there. So I'm gonna do that and then maybe browse some of the shops. There's a cute stationery store that does oils and obviously I got a diffuser for Christmas, so I quite like to look in there and see if there are any scents I like. I need to pop to Body Shop to get some hand cream because with the weather being this cold and icy, I've got very dry cracked hands and then after that I'll probably just get the bus back I'm not going to do another hour and a half walk back but yeah I'm really enjoying this Sunday morning it's like the most Sunday of Sundays I've had in a very long time but I think much needed I'm back in the house now after my lovely coffee catch up. It was so lovely. The sun was glorious. It was so, so warm despite the frost on the ground and how cold and chilly the air was. That sun was really intense. Like I was a little bit worried that my face and my ear that were facing the sun were starting to burn. But yeah, it was very, very fresh, very bright. One of those happy to be alive days as I call them. It was lovely catching up with my friend. We walked along the canal for a little bit. So beautiful views, lovely day. London was buzzing, filled with like families, young people, old people, just everyone was out and about today. It was really, really nice. And just got back in the house, as I've said, having a quick bite to eat, though it is quite late for a bite to eat at 3 p.m. But got to nourish that body after walking an hour and a half to get there. And my housemate also baked banana bread, so I'm gonna help myself to a slice of that, which I'm looking forward to. And now I'm in for the rest of the day and just chilling. I think I'll read for a little bit if I have chance, maybe continue with a bit of Netflix and just, yeah, prepare for the week ahead because Monday's gonna roll around so quickly before we know it. And I'm gonna try and make a homemade lasagna for dinner tonight, so wish me luck for that because I've made it before and it was a little bit flavourless, so hoping this time I can do something different, add some different kind of spices or herbs or whatever to bring out a bit more flavour, but fingers crossed that works and that the pasta cooks. I might part cook the pasta before sticking it in the oven because last time the lasagna was still a little bit hard, like the sheets of lasagna were still a little bit hard, and even after quite a while in the oven. So yeah, picking up little hacks as I go. The more I cook things, the better I get.
My veggie lasagna was so tasty. I'm honestly so proud of myself. Like, I really enjoy cooking. I'm not an expert at cooking. I don't really follow a recipe. I kind of just chuck everything in, taste as I go, and hope for the best. But I think it turned out really well. I have made one before, and it was very flavourless. This time, it was very flavourful, so I'm very pleased about that. Added a stock cube in, added lots of mixed herbs and basil and oregano. And just, yeah, it was definitely a lot better than last time still a little bit on the dry side but I know that's because I use ricotta cheese which dries out a little bit I did hope that by adding milk and cheddar into my cheese sauce that it would make it a little bit cheesier and less dry and a little bit saucier but it still dried out quite a bit but I like the taste of ricotta cheese and I yeah I like the consistency so I need to keep working on that but as things go for a second attempt I'm really pleased and really proud of myself very tasty good meal I think and I'll try again next time and maybe make some notes to remember to try and play around with the sauce a bit more and get it right but yeah I'm really really pleased with myself I'm just learning all sorts of new hobbies this year in 2023 I mean this isn't really a new hobby but you know continuing with an old passion and making more time for cooking because I know it's something I enjoy and it helps me wind down and that's me in for the rest of the evening now I'm just waiting for nine o'clock when Love Island rolls around. I know, love a bit of trash telly, hate me for it, but we all love it. I'm not the only one. And then back to work tomorrow. I hope you've enjoyed spending this relatively chill weekend with me in London. First weekend back, or first weekend I've vlogged since coming back to London. And yeah, ready to keep vlogging in this new year. I hope you've enjoyed and I hope you had a lovely weekend too. Thanks for watching everybody. See you next week. Bye. Bye.